Before there was the sex tape there was this sexy photo shoot. Playboy photographer Steven Weta snapped Pamela Anderson the morning after she slept with Tommy Lee for the first time in February 1995 at the penthouse of the Ritz-Carlton in Cancun and gave the Post an exclusive first look at the unpublished shots. I came in after he left. His underwear were on the ground. The champagne glasses were on the table. The bed looked like a tornado had gone through, the 76-year-old California photographer recalled. Weta had gone to Mexico with the blonde Baywatch bombshell for a shoot promoting a skin care product point six weeks before, on New Year's Eve, the actress met the Motley Crue drummer at Sanctuary, a nightclub in Beverly Hills she co-owned. They had yet to hang out again until he showed up in the tropical locale and they would marry just 96 hours later, he was so insistent for six weeks, she kept saying, no, I don't want to take his calls, Weta said. Finally she relented, took his call, but said, I'm going to Cancun, and specifically asked him not to come. And he said, yes, he wouldn't come. But then he shows up that day. The couple went out a few nights first because, what Pam said is, Tommy didn't want to have sex with her until he could ask her to marry her. The post-coitus shoot was spur of the moment after Weta learned that Lee slept over, he sent the makeup artist and stylist in to prep her, although she was topless for a few of the shots, the idea was to have them as not nude because they weren't gonna be for Playboy. The idea was we would sell them. The cigarettes and the cowboy hat pictured were props, but the bubbly was real. Tommy spent about $4,000 on Cristal, Waiter recalled they were so in love. They were like two kids when they got together, he said. They had great chemistry. They had a great desire for one another, a lot of it was fueled sexually, but still, there was a lot of commonality. They felt they were soulmates and that they would have an everlasting marriage. The couple divorced in 1998, but share sons Brandon Thomas Lee and Dylan Jagger Lee. On September 21, the images captured of Anderson the morning after her and Lee's overnight date in February 1995 will be released as digital collectibles on Maker's Place along with photos Weta took of the pair a month later. The then newlyweds who made headlines the following year when their sex tape was stolen from their home and released without their consent posed at a Santa Monica studio in March 1995 at the request of Anderson. So she gets naked and Tommy, who's outrageously flamboyant he's known for when he was on stage of mooning the audience he's too shy and keeps his pants on for the entire shooting, Weta said, laughing. 